Hello again, this is Eric Bertram with Apex CCTV. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on port forwarding. Uh, this is going to be a fairly brief tutorial. It just covers a quick topic and that is how to find existing port forwards and network address translations in a customer's router that might potentially cause you problems when you go to configure your surveillance device. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer and just get logged into my router. Uh, of course we do that by browsing to the LAN IP address and I've already got my username and password saved and the primary piece of information I want now is this model number. Uh, again, if, you, if it doesn't show up on this dialog, and a lot of times it does, sometimes it doesn't, you can always go look at the router itself. It's probably printed on the top. If not, it's definitely on the sticker on the bottom next to the serial number. So I'll click OK and go ahead and log in uh, just because I'm already there. And now I'm going to open a new tab and go to my favorite website for this kind of stuff called portforward. Dot com. This is a fantastic resource, guys. Uh, if any of you aren't familiar with it, you should absolutely take a look around and see all the different stuff they have to offer. Um, where we're going today is the router list, and that's just going to give me an enormous list of router model numbers and manufacturers that these guys have written port forwarding guides for. So as soon as this page finishes loading, uh, I'll show you how enormous this list is. They have just about every router on the planet that's got a web interface. So back to the top, I'm going to just click on edit and do a quick uh, find for my model number. Uh, of course I could go to Netgear uh, as a manufacturer and then search for it visually but this is easier for me so there's my model number, it's highlighted for me. I'm going to click on this and what I'm looking for in here is the default router guide. Okay so this is not specific to a GeoVision capture card or any standalone DVR. It's just a default guide that shows general information on port forwarding with this router. So I'll put in my private IP address just for grins and I'm going to slide on down here and start looking at directions. So um, again this is just a generic port forwarding guide so it's giving me instructions on how to get into the router. Default IP address should be 192.168.1.1 that's usually the case. Mine has changed to dot three because it's just for testing. And I've already logged in. Say so that's good. Um, so now it's going to show me the home page. And once we're finished with the with the firmware upgrade, if there is one, of course ours does not have one right now. Uh, we're going to click on port forwarding, port triggering. It says near the left edge of the page. So if we go down to the bottom, there it is. Port forwarding, port triggering. Okay, I'm here. Uh, so what we're looking for is just again this generic instruction on how to do port forwarding <clears throat> so that we can see if anybody has already done this with anything else. Um, very common conflicts would be port 80 for a web server, um, port 25 for um, uh, an SMTP server, port 21 for an FTP server. A lot of surveillance devices are using these common ports <coughs> and we just want to make sure that they're not already in use. So in my case, we're fine. Um, there's nothing here pre-configured. Everything is good to go. I can do whatever I need to and not worry about messing up somebody else's piece of equipment. Um, if there had been stuff here, what you need to do is write it down and compare it line by line. And Sometimes you'll see a lot of these, especially for point of sale systems. Write it down and compare it line by line with your DVR and make sure that nothing matches. So if you have port 80 already here, uh, you don't want to use port 80 for your DVR, so we're going to have to find a way to work around that. And I'll cover that in a later video. So for now, the important thing is just remembering, go to portforward.com, uh, click on router guide at the top, find your model number, and then click on default guide. So I'll, I'll run through it again real fast for you guys. So portforward.com, router list at the top left, do a quick search and uh, find your router's model number and uh, click on that and then you know, skip your advertisement of course and then click on default guide down here in the fifth paragraph and that will give you the information on how to get to the screen where port forwarding is done. Uh, once again anything that's here jot it down make a note of it for later use and uh, come back and see us next week for our next training video which will cover what to do with this information. Thank you everybody so much uh, for the rest of our training video series. Take a visit to www.apexcctv.com. Thank you.